Today is 11th October, the day of Saint Kenneth. This saint, who is uh, sometimes called Saint Canis, lived from 515 to 600. He was born in Ireland and he is well known in both Ireland and Scotland. His father was a bard. He was a professional singer of ballads. As a young man, Kenneth went to Wales to study for the priesthood. St. Cadac was his teacher. After he became a priest, he went to visit Rome. He then returned to Ireland to study at the school of St. Finney. Kenneth became good friends with the three other Irish saints, Quirin, Camgall and Columba. After preaching throughout Ireland, St. Kenneth went with St. Columba to Scotland on a mission to the pagan King Brood. When this king angrily seized his sword to strike the two missionaries, it is said that St. Kenneth made the sign of the cross and a miracle took place. The king's hand was suddenly paralyzed and the saints were saved. St. Kenneth and St. Columba were always close friends. Once Columba was sailing with some companions, Kenneth was far away in his monastery in Ireland. Suddenly he became aware that Columba was in great danger at sea. He jumped up from the dinner table and ran to church to pray for his beloved friend. Out at sea, Columba cried out his frightened companions. Don't be afraid, God will listen to Kenneth. Right now he is running to church with only one shoe on to pray for us. And as he said, they were saved. St. Kenneth started several mon monasteries and converted many non-believers. He became famous for his jealous preaching of the gospel. Even more, he became well known for the perfect way in which he himself practiced the teaching of Jesus. Message for us. St. Kenneth knew how to make the best of a difficult situations. His good humor won him many friends and helpers in preaching the good news. We can ask St. Kenneth to show us how to be as good and cheerful a friend as he was. Indu Anandu October Saint Kenneth Ravra Dina Saint Kenneth Karel Padoi Santaru Small Krista Shika Ainur Adne Du Rinda Arnur Ravaragi Jivisidaro Our Ireland Desh the Legion is the Ru Matu Ireland Matu Scotland Erlu Our Chiraparichatru Agidaro Our Tande Bard Andri Lavani Ravati Pragayaka Yukana Gidaga Kenneth Porhatya Kagi Adhyayana Madalu, Wales Deshaki Hodaru. Saint Kadok, Kenneth Ravara Shiksha Karagitaru. Our Padre Adanantara, our room Gibetin Idaru. Nantara, our Saint Finian Shali Ali, Adhyayana Madalu, Ireland Gay Marlidaru. Kenneth Itara Moru, Irish Santarandi, Uttamas Naitradru. Our Hesaragudu, Kiran, Kamgo, Matu, Columba. Ireland Adinta, Dharma Prachara Madidanantara. Saint Kenneth Ivaru, Saint Columba Dundige, Tama Missionary Enu, Aramisolo, Scotland Gitter Lidro. Our Samedali, Brodimbata Rajnagitano. Our Rajanu, Yerudu Missionary Gul Norello, Copa in the Tana Kurgo no Shapris Kondaga, Saint Kenneth Shilbe Achine no Maridaro. Takshanaway, the Pawada Nadito. Adenendri, Rajana Kay, the Kidante, Pasho Ige Vodagaito. Adesamedali, Missionary Santarno. Rakshi Salaito Saint Kenneth Matu Saint Columba Aptas Naitaro Wame Columba Kelavo Sacher Rondige Nauke and Amartidro Kenneth Ireland in Alirva Tana Mata the Lidro Columba Gay Samudra the Lito Dapai Vedendu the Kidante Kenneth Tarige Prathani Alirvagale Arivaito Arutana Prithias Nathanagagi the only prophecy Kenneth Auru 
ಕೊಲಂಬ ಮತ್ತು ತನ್ನ ಎಲ್ಲ ಸಹಪಾಠಿಗಳನ್ನು ಅಪಾಯದಿಂದ ರಕ್ಷಿಸುತ್ತಾನೆ ಕೆನೆತ್ ಸೆಂಟ್ ಕೆನೆತ್ ಹಲವಾರು ಮಠಗಳನ್ನು ಆರಂಭಿಸಿದರು ಮತ್ತು ಅನೇಕ ನಂಬಿಕೆ ಇಲ್ಲದವರನ್ನು ಪರಿವರ್ತಿಸಿದರು ಅವರು ಸ್ವಾರ್ಥೆಯ ಉತ್ಸಾಹ ಭರಿತ ಬೋಧನೆಗಾಗಿ ಪ್ರಸಿದ್ಧರಾದರು ಇನ್ನು ಹೆಚ್ಚಾಗಿ ಅವರು ಸ್ವತಃ ಯೇಸುವಿನ ಬೋಧನೆಗಳನ್ನು ಅಭ್ಯಾಸ ಮಾಡಿದ ಪರಿಪೂರ್ಣ ಮಾರ್ಗಕ್ಕಾಗಿ ಅವರು ಪ್ರಸಿದ್ಧರಾದರು ಸಂದೇಶ ಸೆಂಟ್ ಕೆನೆತ್ ಅವರಿಗೆ ಕಠಿಣ ಪರಿಸ್ಥಿತಿಯನ್ನು ಹೇಗೆ ಉತ್ತಮಗೊಳಿಸುವುದು ಎಂದು ತಿಳಿದಿತ್ತು ಆತನ ಒಳ್ಳೆಯ ಹಾಸ್ಯವು ಆತನಿಗೆ ಒಳ್ಳೆಯ ಸುದ್ದಿಯನ್ನು ಸಾರುವಲ್ಲಿ ಅನೇಕ ಸ್ನೇಹಿತರನ್ನು ಮತ್ತು ಸಹಾಯಕರನ್ನು ಗಳಿಸಿತು ನಾವು ಆತನಂತೆ ಒಳ್ಳೆಯ ಮತ್ತು ಹರ್ಷ ಚಿತ್ತದಿಂದ ಸ್ನೇಹಿತರಾಗಿರುವುದನ್ನು ತೋರಿಸಲು ಸೆಂಟ್ ಕೆನೆತ್ ಅವರ